We have Sister Shanti coming up. They're out here evangelizing the day in the neighborhood. How are you doing today, Miss Ashanti? Ashanti, it's Shanti. I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> so what y'all doing today? Um, well, we are just going out into the community and surveying the, um, the people in the community because we definitely want to be a church that serves and helps and grows the community in a spiritual as well as physical, emotional, and all those aspects. Um, we definitely want to be a church of the community. So what better way to find out what the community wants than coming out, asking questions, getting information so that we can create a ministry for everyone here. So what does the Healing Place do? Oh, <laughs> that list is long. Um, you know, we have everything from outreach ministry where we go out in the streets, see if anyone needs prayer, if there's any guidance that we can give, whether it be word from the Lord or even just, you know, letting people know that the Bible is a wonderful way and a wonderful book to read so that you can live your life and get more out of life. Um, we offer, you know, help with our different entities, including like our Center for Dreams and our Cairo Performing Arts. The Center for Dreams being mainly a social work type of um, organization where, you know, we help those who need jobs, help those who just need something as simple as getting a driver's license, you know, just to better each individual so that they can get to a higher area or a higher arena in life. Um, you know, our Cairo Performing Arts, the list of arts just goes on and on from dance, acting, singing, playing instruments. You know, we're here so that we can give back to the community. So we want them to come in and, you know, we know that arts is another way of expressing oneself, another way of getting emotions and feelings and everything out. So why not use that to help the community? So. And I hear that you're pretty good. Um performer yourself i am thank you thank you god <laughs> okay can we get a, a twirl a spin or? a twirl or a spin <laughs> you know i ain't got on my dance clothes but i'm gonna do it anyway so you know we've got a quick calm break back and then hey man glory <laughs> to god well thank we thank you, you we thank you and um i i'm praying for the healing place that y'all Keep continuing to do what y'all doing in the community. Yes. Praise God. And say hello to Apostle Charlene hearing for me. I sure will. Thank you. No problem. Have a blessed day. You too. <laughs> hello, how y'all doing? This is your boy MB Promotion. No paper, no pen. This is my everyday life. I'm here with a brother in Christ right now, man. We just he just want to give a little testimony of how God has been good to him and how God has continued to be good to him. How you doing today, bro? Good, good, good. Now go ahead and let them know, you know, how good God has been to you and, and just give a little testimony in your life, brother. Well, just a few years ago, I was down. Had nobody really, you know what I'm saying, help me come up. But, you know, I realized I had to help myself. So I kept praying and praying and praying. So God finally answered my prayer because I stayed committed. You know, I started my own lawn service, you know, and um, God blessed me with my truck, my trailer, my lawnmower and all my equipment. I came out my pocket with $5,000. All my equipment came up with 20000 So everybody I'm, I'm talking to, you know, if you believe in God, live by faith, and really put your faith into God and really be obedient, the blessing will come. Because you really don't have to ask for no blessing. The blessing is already there. He just wants you to be obedient and do what you're supposed to do. Because remember, faith without work is dead. Amen. So go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Testify and let these young kids know that without faith, without faith, you know what I'm saying? You know, it it, it can't work, man. It definitely can't work. Faith without works is dead. It is. It so is. you got to put faith and works in it, you know what I'm saying, in order for it to be alive and so that, you know what I'm saying, God will see your works and your faith. And that other people will see your faith and your works by the things that you are doing. It'll be it'll be shown, you know what I'm saying? It'll be shown and it'll be brought into the light, man. I want to thank you, man. What's your name, brother? Uh, my name is Everett. Everett, Mr. Everett. We definitely appreciate you um, just getting a little testimony and pray that this be a uh, stepping stone for some of the young folks that's out there that don't have faith and don't believe. And um, I just praise God for this day. And um, you have a blessed day, sir. All right, you too.
What's your name? Did you give her your name? Yeah. Put an S. Put an S behind her name for me, please. And then my sister is a good singer. She ain't a fight with me. But she didn't sing for me today. That's right. We'll have her sing the next time. Okay. Okay. Was she here today? Yeah. Okay. All right. So well, but the big one. Another one down. I loves the children. I loves the children. I loves the children. Just elementary. Next school coming up. Hopefully it'll be um, Robles Park Elementary. But I loves the children. She's gonna make copies. Do you want us to hold on to them? Yeah, you can hold on to them. Okay. Thank you for coming to Curve It's RN. Today we're having a Mother's Day event with Miss Yolanda Davis, our Mary Kay consultant over here. We're doing free facials and also giving a nice gift basket drawing that we have. And also we have Miss Veronica. Victoria is doing baskets. She has beautiful pieces here that I so love. This was mine, just to let you know. Okay, and giving away a nice basket. And she made for herself. All right. Uh huh. For our nice Mother's Day gifts that we're doing here at Curves RN. Again, thank you. We're at Curves RN. Bye.